What is going on you guys? Kenny Valdez back out again with another video. In today's video, we are finally gonna be installing coilovers, AP2 rear bumper, and new wheels for the S2000. So, right now I'm heading over to uh, one of my good friend Josh's house to go pick up the wheels. Um, there's some Enki NT03s. Um, he's giving me a hell of a deal on them, but from what I understand, they're not in the greatest shape. Left two lanes to turn onto Colonial Boulevard. Thank you, Siri. Um, they're not in the greatest shape from what I heard, uh, but they probably will clean up pretty nice after I'm done with them. So, yeah, I hate the stock AP1 wheels, and um, am dying right? to get yeah, some... Uh, yeah, it's time for an upgrade. I'm dying to get some new wheels on this on this s2k especially after i install the coilovers i definitely gonna i'm definitely gonna want new wheels all right so we're here at my boy's house and there are the wheels what do you think what do you mean i want them it's good okay very enthusiastic all right so we got the wheels in the back See you later, Josh. Thank you for the wheels again. Welcome. And now we just gotta wait for the coils to come in. Um, they should be in by Wednesday, which today is Sunday. So we got a couple days to wait for them. Um, I'm probably gonna install them the same day. And then in the meantime, I'll get these um, cleaned up. That way they look a lot better than the way they do now. But uh, my homeboy Josh gave me a hell of a deal that I uh, couldn't pass up. So uh, appreciate you, Josh. Thank you, bro. All right, it's a couple days later. Guess what just came in? Coilovers. It's about damn time. All right, so um, I am going to be rolling the fenders on the S2K. Um, I don't know if I've already shown this, but I threw on the wheels and these are gonna be some big boys and the fenders have never been rolled so we're gonna have to take care of that today I got my buddy Sergi on the way to uh, roll these fenders and also I did buy AP2 rear bumper um, hopefully today I should be picking it up from paint so I can throw it on uh, throw coilovers on have the fenders rolled and we'll be Gucci for the weekend so yeah I'm really excited because these wheels look pretty dope on the car. Um, the fronts, however, I think gonna need a little bit of camber, but coilovers should fix that with a little bit of what, with about, I don't know, negative two, negative three camber. It should be perfect. I'm not a big fan of a lot of camber, but um, baby camber's all right. So yeah, just waiting for him to show up so I can roll these fenders and throw these coilovers on. Oh. And speaking of him, looks like my buddy is here. Pull up in the LS. Ooh, that color though. My guy, Sergi. What's going on? Nothing much, man. The incline is no joke, man. No, what happened? The car's in, the incline. Oh yeah, that shit's <laughs> steep. Yeah, that, that incline is no joke. Like Astrid Z, I drove her car today and it scrapes every time. And I gotta get a lip for that thing because I destroyed it. But anyways, here's S2K. Unmolested, huh? Yep, completely unmolested until today. It still has the rubber. Uh... Mm-hmm. It's rubber trim. You gotta pull them off on all Hondas because they oh, rust. Oh yeah, I know because they rust. Yeah. 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 Let me go get my shit. Cool.
So Sergio just got finished with the uh, fenders. So made a shout out to you, Sergio. I appreciate you. Now time to unbox the coilovers. So the coilovers I'm running are True Hearts. Uh, they're about a mid $500 coilover, which I'm running on the Mat 240 and we're running it on the Z. Um, fantastic coilover for, for mid for a mid $500 coilover. They're fantastic. I I swear by them. All right. So right away we're going to the box, the little paper, how do I adjust my ride height, how do I preload the coilovers, what about my brake lines, da 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 we don't care. Coilover keys, True Heart sticker, which I'm probably just going to slap it on my refrigerator or something like that. Here's the first coilover. So these are the True Heart Street Pluses. So that's what it looks like out of the box. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna start off by doing the uh, the fronts here, the front driver. So I believe there's that nut they have to take out. Uh, you're gonna have to take out the upper arms here, this side and that side, and then the two 14 mils up top. So without further ado, let's get to it. on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a monolo recording. On the rear you have to remove the gas liner i guess and there's three i think these are like seven or eight millimeter bolts there's one there one there one there and then if you have a cd changer there's two bolts that hold it down one on this side one on that side and there's one in the back that appears like there's no bolt but if you go underneath the car it's actually right right here it's not sticking out anymore because i took it out already but there's a 10 millimeter bolt that you gotta go from underneath the car and take that out and then you can move this out the way and then move the uh, carpeting uh, there was one clip there that i already took out and there appears to be another one right here um can you give me a flathead and that comes out like that and then we should be able to move this up the way. I hope. I don't know what this is for. There we go. And then you got the spare there. You got some foam there. Um, I think all you gotta do is just move this bolt out the way. I think it looks like a 12. Let me confirm that with you guys. And I'm, I lied, it's a 10. So it's a 10 mil there. I got it. Sit back in the 
All right, so then you're just gonna have to just compress it this way and then move it that way towards, your, towards yourself. All right, so I can confirm that these bolts are a 14. So grab a 14 socket and you should be able to get those loose. And if anyone's wondering, the bottom is a 17 mil. Boom, great success. All right guys, so all you gotta do to put it back is what you did in reverse. But I gotta go and get um, calzone before they close and before my girl kills me. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick and then uh, I'll be right back. We got the calzone boys. Asher's not gonna kill me. All right, so for the passenger side, you're gonna have to remove the uh, spare tire obviously. So take this out from the center. Take the spare out, should be good. Does that have air in it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Then, luckily, you don't have to do all this unnecessary bullshit. You can just get straight to it. And it's the same thing as this other side. Two 14s up top, 117 on the bottom. Uh, and then just put your weight on it for it to come free and you should be good to go. All right, guys, so we finished up here, and <laughs> as you can tell, this ride height in the front is not going to be it. Oh, my God. I can't even drive like that. All right, so I'm outside, barely, and, uh, yeah, I can't even turn the wheel full lock without it rubbing against the fender. No, I gotta go up wow. in the front. <laughs> I have to go up in the front. Look, it's tough. But yeah. All right, guys, so I just got the bumper, as you guys see back there. So I'm ready to put this thing on finally. I've been dying to see what this bumper looks like. Well, not really what it looks like, because I know what it looks like, but I'm just dying to see the bumper on finally, get this car in some sunlight and uh, take it for a drive. So without further ado, let me get this bumper on and uh, I guess we'll go for our first drive after that. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we successfully put on the rear bumper. Ow. So we successfully put on the rear bumper. Oh, she's looking so spicy now. I definitely got to take care of that trunk. Um, hopefully I can wet sand and buff it. Supposedly I can. I don't feel like it's possible, but I've been told it's possible. But that is the next project, I guess, on this thing. Um, that and putting tents on. I have it sitting at home, but... Dang, that rear bumper is spicy. So yeah, this thing is complete. I gotta wash this thing. So I'm gonna wash it and then I'll probably try to do some cinematics if the Florida weather allows me to. But yeah, what do you guys think?
Oh man, this thing's so good. As always, I forget to end the video. But here it is, guys. That's 2000 in all its glory. I don't think I mentioned how well these coilovers ride. Um, they ride fantastic. I'm extremely happy with them. Earlier about the statement with the BC stuff, because I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for it in the comments. BCs have a lot more adjustability, but what I mean by the uh, True Hearts competing with what I think the BC is that the level of comfort you get from True Hearts for half the price. Um, if you're just dealing a car, I think True Hearts are fine, unless if you need absolutely all the adjustability. Um, other than that, if you're looking to just go low and, and to have a comfortable ride, the True Hearts do more than enough. But anyways. I'm happy with them. Um, I got to go get an alignment. I'm going to camber in the front, hopefully a little bit. Um, that way it can match the rear. Because as you guys can see, the rears have probably like a negative two, negative three camber. And then the fronts are just <clears throat> straight. So I kind of want to match the rear see and see if the alignment shop can do that for me. If not, then I'm going to have to probably get uh, adjustable camber. Uh, upper control arms. So there's that a um, couple other things i guess what's next for the car is that i am getting a lip i'm not gonna tell you guys what lip yet and i'm getting an exhaust not gonna tell you guys what exhaust yet and also i've been thinking about going a little bit uh bigger on the tire size um, these are 215 35s um squared i'm thinking about going 235 40 18 on the rear and 225 40 18 on the fronts so like i said uh, this thing isn't going to be a stancy boy this car is going to be more of a track stance so i think i'm going to go with a wider tire um i don't know i just don't really like the way the 215s feel on the s2000 i think stock they come with 225s so yeah that's definitely got to change for me also i'm not too sure what color i should powder coat these wheels um ashford likes the white a lot i've been told to go like crazy purple which i'm not crazy on crazy colors besides i guess gold um but i'm definitely not doing gold on this car i don't know like I, i've been told also fluorescent green i've been told uh some type of red like a burgundy red but i don't know um i like the white on black it's pretty dope even though it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a pain to just clean these wheels because the 240 has white wheels and that was a nightmare but I don't know. I really like the uh, white on black, like I said. Pretty dope. But I'm rambling, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what color I should powder coat the wheels. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know, like I said. On that note, guys, I'm going to end it here. This was a long one. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.